The Sun, a fiery ball of gas at the center of our solar system, is a source of both light and life for us here on Earth. But what happens when this seemingly eternal force of nature begins to behave in ways that we can't predict or explain? Recently, a NASA telescope captured a stunning and ominous event that has left scientists completely baffled. A massive portion of the Sun appeared to break off and drift into space, defying our current understanding of the Sun's behavior. This event has sparked fear and uncertainty in the scientific community as they scramble to uncover the truth behind this extraordinary phenomenon. A never-before-seen phenomenon that has confounded scientists has been filmed by NASA when a chunk of the sun's northern pole breaks official. A video depicts a large plasma filament, or electrified gas, shooting out from the sun, separating, and then swirling in a massive polar vortex. While puzzled, astronomers hypothesize that the prominence is related to the sun's magnetic field reversal, which occurs once every solar cycle. What's going on? When material from the sun's surface broke off and spun like a tornado around its northern pole, scientists were left perplexed. The remarkable phenomenon was caught by NASA on the James Webb Space Telescope and tweeted by Dr. Tamitha Skov, a space weather forecaster. Talk about polar vortex. She wrote last week. Material from a northern prominence just broke away from the main filament and is now circulating in a massive polar vortex around the north pole of our star. Implications for understanding the sun's atmospheric dynamics above 55 degrees here cannot be overstated. According to specialists, unusual activity usually occurs near the sun's 55 degree latitudes during per 11 year solar cycle. But this episode has scientists baffled. A prominence is a noticeable feature that projects outward from the surface of the Sun. There have been other filament tearaways before, but not one quite like this. Due to humanity's inadequate understanding of its star, specialists acknowledge that it presumably has something to do with the magnetic field of the Sun, but the rest is still a mystery. Only from the ecliptic plane, or the geometric plane containing Earth's orbit, can scientists observe the Sun. The European Space Agency Solar Orbiter mission, which is taking photos of the Sun while raising its orbit beyond the ecliptic plane, might provide answers, but until then, researchers are left scratching their heads. According to Space.com, the Sun has already produced several powerful flares this month, that have interfered with communication on Earth, although otherwise seeming innocuous. The Sun will peak in activity in 2025, the 11th year of the current cycle. Strange things have been happening with the Sun in the previous few decades, confounding astronomers. Maybe it is because of the observation prowess we have developed in the recent years, or it could be that we do not know a lot about the Sun. Such instances also remind of what happened at the Sunspot Solar Observatory. A little white object can be seen above the woods at the top of the Sacramento Mountains, 85 miles southwest of Rosewell, New Mexico, where flying objects were first observed in 1947 and led to suspicions that they might have been aliens or UFOs. This is the Dunn Solar Telescope of the Sunspot Solar Observatory a facility dedicated to studying the Sun. Now let's go back in time. September 6, 2018, FBI agents on board Black Hawk helicopters are on a secret mission as they swoop over the Lincoln Forest Mountains in New Mexico. Their target, the Sunspot Solar Observatory, that is used by NASA to keep an eye on the Sun. They rush in and close the observatory as soon as they arrive at the location. Agents with serious faces and unmocked cars soon rolled into the scene and immediately dispersed. The people being evacuated were only instructed to leave without being given any explanation of what was happening. Even the sheriff and the local police were left in the dark. The employees were silenced 
and made to sign secrecy agreements. The lockdown was eventually lifted, although it took 11 days. The FBI announced that they were looking into one of the facility's janitors for possessing and disseminating pornography. The person was said to have been fired, however, was not arrested or charged with any crime. But many, even till this day, find the janitor's story a cover-up. So that makes you wonder, did they see something through that observatory that they shouldn't have? Or did they do it to stop the observatory from seeing something during the time it was shut down? Some people were worried that NASA might have seen the sun getting smaller, which would be the start of the sun's demise before it becomes a red giant, engulfs the planet and explodes as a supernova. However, further observations made by various observatories over time demonstrate that our sun is in perfect condition. Then what could possibly be the reason? Why didn't the FBI make an arrest despite having enough information to visit the scene, shut it down for 11 days, and conduct an investigation? The majority of people think that this was just a huge cover-up for something far bigger. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Launched in October 2006, the Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory, or STEREO, has provided scientists a unique and revolutionary view of the Sun-Earth system. STEREO, which consists of two almost similar observatories, has followed the movement of matter and energy from the Sun to Earth. It helps us monitor our star by orbiting the Sun 95 miles above its surface and emitting ultraviolet and X-ray rays. But on March 13, 2020, the wind telescopes captured something that set the Internet on fire. You see the Sun here, along with Venus and Earth, when suddenly, what looks like an imposter, enters the screen. The mysterious object resembles a wheel with spokes if you watch it in slow motion. In addition, it appears to be sending something towards the Sun, or taking something away from it, much like a spacecraft replenishing its fuel. The object would, however, be larger than Jupiter based on the way it appears here. A large object with its own gravity would cause the Earth to deviate from its orbit. Therefore, we can easily rule out that it is a spacecraft. Also, it is not a solar flare or plasma discharge. Then what is it? If you pay attention, the wheel rotates in the opposite direction and at the same speed as Venus, indicating that it is nothing more than Venus's reflection. The light is bouncing off the camera and producing a ghost picture, which is why it appears to be a wheel. You got to give it to this optical illusion. It looked more real than a real wheelsap spacecraft would. But what about this footage right here? This footage is from NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory on May 5, 2022. What is strange about this footage is that NASA abruptly ended the live stream somewhere around here. Conspiracy theorists claim that this is a cube, but to anyone who is familiar, it appears to be a solar flare and is so large that it could swallow the entire planet. But what really stands out in this case is the rectangle shape that appears just before the solar flare is discovered and the live stream ends. Was that a glitch? Or was that something we weren't supposed to see? That day scheduled maintenance on NASA's Helia viewer was mentioned, so why did a black rectangle suddenly appear shortly before the live stream? Look at this thing. Is that a technical glitch? A camera fault? We have repeatedly observed several odd sightings around the Sun, as natural events like solar flares, plasma discharge, or comets, NASA has described them. But there are so many things that we still do not know about the Sun, and for a species that is yet to completely learn about its star and harvest all its energy, I say we keep looking and asking the question, are we alone? So. Would you like to travel to the other side of the universe, or stick with us here, at the edge of the universe, until we meet again?